Marshall. I thought you were in jail for another five years. Ladies buying you a drink. Don't ask me why. Thanks. Because you look like you were a thousand miles away. Really? Well, what were you thinking about? Find a drink for someone you don't even know. Maybe I feel like I know you. Jack, whatever the lady's drinking. Champagne cocktail. Champagne cocktail. about Jack. He owes me. See, I used to work in this building. Evans and Cannon. Before they fired me, right, Jack? I know people who work there. They invited me up to their Christmas party. No kidding. Yeah, I was just thinking whether or not I should go up. Yeah, I was just trying to figure that out, too. You could stay here with me. Now, I think I'd better go up. You sure? Yeah. Maybe I'll go with you. You're gonna go with me? Let's do it. I'm nervous. You don't have to do it. Yes, I do. nothing wrong with your television. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are now controlling the transmission. We control the horizontal and the vertical. We can deluge you with a thousand channels or expand one single image to crystal clarity and beyond. 
we can shape your vision to anything our imagination can conceive. For the next hour, we will control all that you see and hear. to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the deepest inner mind to the outer limits. For every human act, there is a moment of decision, a single thought, a breath, a heartbeat, after which all possible outcomes narrow to one. I don't care what you have to I need to come. Oh my God. Just give me the keys. Can I just get my phone? I, I was just closing a deal. Just run, you idiot! We'll pick that up. I don't want it to get lost in voicemail. I have a call on to the station. Evans and Cannon. Did anybody get killed? Just calling, please. You know who this is. Did I kill anybody? It's him. He wants to know if anybody was killed. I'm not going to lie to you, Henry. Three people. Who is this? My name is Jack. Okay. I'm a cop. Look, I know you know what you did was wrong, or else you wouldn't be calling. I know it was wrong. But that woman. What woman? That woman at the bar, she, she, she went up with me. We went up together, and, and she was standing behind me. And, and when I turned around, she was... Henry. You're going to want to take a look at these, Detective. Who's this Mr. Triple X? Do me a favor, photocopy these. Blow them up. Let's find out who the comedian is. Right. The KQRP news time is 3 o'clock. I'm Tres Grant. The search continues for a lone gunman police say is responsible for the deaths of three people at a downtown office party. A police spokesperson gave no motive for the shooting but said that the suspect, an ex-convict known to police as a one-time employee of the firm, is considered to be armed and extremely dangerous. Police believe he may be attempting to flee the city in a stolen car. The names of the victims will not be released until the next of kin. Tell me why, don't my friends show up before you? Ah, oh, I mean, there was lots of team last night. No, they were there earlier. They were. Double scotch. 
You have to order something off the menu. Why? Sorry, it's our liquor license. Can of booze without food. The soup count? <sighs> yeah, we got three kinds. Good, pick one out for me. Where's the bathroom? Right behind you. Gave you bean with bacon. Is that all right? Yeah. It's my favorite. Six eighty-five. Look, I just remembered I left my wallet in my office. Uh, write down your address. I, I'll send it to you. I promise. It's all right. If you don't have any money, it's on the house. In all the years my family has owned this place, we've never turned anyone away. And I'm not gonna start tonight. Okay? Yeah. Thanks. The KQRP news time is 8 o'clock. I'm Tres Grant. The search continues for a lone gunman. Police say is responsible for the deaths of three people in a downtown office party. A police spokesperson gave no motive for the shooting, but said that the suspect at this conflict known to police as a one-time employee of the firm is considered to be armed and extremely dangerous. Names of the victims will not be released until next to the end I hate eating alone, don't you? No. Is that bean with bacon? No. Oh, Henry. Sit down. How do you know my name? Well, I know a lot of names. Excuse me. Miss? Uh, it's Mary, isn't it? Henry here says that this bean with bacon soup is the best he's ever tasted. Isn't that good? I think so. Well, uh, let me have a steaming bowl of soup and... Let me get a drink for my friend here. No, no, no. I was just leaving. Oh, no. Henry, you didn't finish your soup. The same? You know, Henry, most people think the party's always somewhere else. They're never at ease where they are. You heard about me on the radio, didn't you? Everyone's so worried that they're going to miss out on something that they can't be still long enough to listen. Or quiet long enough to be aware of the moment. How do you know who I am? What do you want? How's your side, Henry? Is it still bleeding? Who are you? Lucas. Okay, there you go. I'll be right back with your change. No, that's okay, Mary. Keep it. <laughs> I couldn't. Well, sure you can. Please. Thank you. You handing that stuff out? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. there's a party going on. The guest of honor is a friend of the family. And Mary, she has this idea that she's going to pick up the bar tab at the end of the evening. 
she can't afford it. I just thought that I'd contribute a little. That's nice. Care to make a contribution to me? What do you need? What do I need? What do you got? Intelligence. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, I know what it means, but let, let's see what Mr. Webster has to say about it here. There we go. Ah, oh, here it is. There it is. Okay. Intelligence, number one. The faculty of understanding. Two, the ability to use existing knowledge to solve new problems. Number three, an intelligent being, especially an angel. Oh, please. You're some kind of a religious freak, aren't you? You heard about me on the radio, right? No, I wasn't talking about religion. I got a news flash for you, pal. I'd rather walk 20 miles in the pouring rain down a mountainside than listen to some idiotic story about how Jesus is going to save me. Because I ran into a hundred guys just like you in prison. They all thought God was going to save them. None of them are getting out. You call it salvation? I call it delusion. Henry, can you listen? No. I don't have the time to listen. I wish I did, but I don't. I'll see you. Oh, Henry. If you leave this moment, Henry, you're... You're spotted by the police in an alley sometime tomorrow morning. You run, they shoot, and the last thing you see is a garbage truck backing up. If you leave, you die. And nobody comes to your funeral. You die alone. We all die alone. No, we don't. No, we don't, Henry. All I'm saying is that Henry wasn't any worse than his boss, Evans. Only difference was he got caught. And being the new young guy at the firm, he got pushed and taken a fall from him. He took the blame, he went to jail, and to show their appreciation, they all turned their backs on him. They had it coming to me. I didn't say that. I don't think anybody has that coming. You can't know what's gonna happen. Nobody can. Henry, with every move we make, we change the world. Drinking a bowl of green tea, I stopped the war. It's from a poem. That's beautiful. It's lovely. Very nice. What happens to me if I leave an hour from now? Doesn't matter. It does to me. Oh, what I mean is that You'll be killed no matter what time you leave tonight. So nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11.30, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I get it, I see. In other words, you want me to stay. Yes, I do. Oh, you do. That's what this whole dog and pony show is all about, isn't it? There's a reward, isn't there? For who? For you, for turning me into the police. What would I want to do that for? You kidding me? I do it myself. I thought I could cash in on it. Sorry, Luke. I'll take my chances oh. out there. What have you got to lose by just waiting a little longer? My freedom. You've already lost that. Not yet, I haven't. You lost it a long time ago. Wait, Henry. Why? To save your life. Because if you leave this moment, events will unfold so quickly, nothing you or I do from this moment on will make any difference. What events? I don't have a clue what you're talking Who are you? You just have to trust me. Keep still. It's not what you think. I gotta get out of here. I can't go back to prison. Just keep
keep looking at me. Don't look in his direction, and he won't know that you're here. So, same old, same old? Yeah. Soup? I don't know what to do. Eat your soup. It's cold. It's good cold. Just let me get this straight. If I'd left when the cop came in, I'd be dead. Is that what you're saying? I would have run, he would have shot me. In the back. In the back. So it doesn't matter when I leave. It doesn't matter where I go. It doesn't matter what I do. That's right. That's right. Maybe if you came with me, I could stay one step ahead. Then you die of an infection three days from now on a train because your injury was never infection. really treated. Wait a minute. What, what, what kind of an infection? Forget it. I don't believe this. What? You can see into the future? I can see the possibilities. Yeah, yeah, and, and this is some kind of a gift? An ability, yeah. And the future depends on what we do in the present. Do you know anything about quantum physics, Henry? No. We're all the same. We're made of particles born in the primordial stars. You, me, this table, Evans, everything. We're not separate. It's the way the universe works. Hey, Ronnie, I want you to come over here. Is it clear what I'm saying? No. Give me your hand. Tell me where yours ends and mine begins. That would be right here. I, I'm starting to think you're insane. So I'm getting out of here. Because I believe whatever happens, happens. That's right, Henry. This is it. Well, don't tell me about it. I'll find out myself. Goodbye. Thanks for the drinks. I need any of these corpses you sent over yet? No, sir. Nothing? You got nothing at all on these people? Nothing. And this is getting weird. Look at this. Nobody noticed this? No fingerprints. Not a trace. That's peculiar. Check this out. Now, you'd have to see as many corpses as I do to appreciate this. Not a mole, not a freckle. And the body, she's perfect. And take a look at this. All right, what am I looking at? John Doe, number two's brain. Took a 45 caliber bullet through the forehead. That is not human brain tissue. I mean, I guess it could be. It just doesn't look like any brain I've ever seen. The structure is so uniform, simple. Well, what kind of brain is it? If I had to compare it to something, I don't know. Maybe dolphin. Dolphin? Well, obviously it isn't. Oh, no, of course it is. 
Marshall was shooting at these people and an unfortunate dolphin swam into the line of fire. I know it sounds crazy. Crazy. No, no. This one's got no fingerprints, this one's Mr. Triple X, and this one's got a dolphin brain. It all makes perfect sense. Well, what do I say in the report? I don't know what to do here. Well, the ID had an address somewhere in the mountains. I'm going to check it out like I'm supposed to. I am going to find nothing like I'm going to. Then I'm going to have a drink someplace. That's what I'm going to do. No, like I was telling them, I was way too much. What's going on? A surprise party. The guest of honor is supposed to arrive any minute. You know what I'm talking about. I was shot. There were two bullet holes in my side. I took the liberty of ordering you another double. Cheers. <laughs> I don't really understand what the attraction is, though. I guess it's to kill the pain. Look, what happened to my wound? This doesn't happen. Doesn't it? Just tell me, am I dead? Am I in heaven? No, you're not in heaven. But you're not in hell either, so you can relax. And I'm not your guardian angel, if that's your next question. Yeah, well, then what planet are you from? Because something's going on here. Yes. It's a surprise party for a very special person. Sit down. Sit. The funny thing is, he's gonna be late. He didn't want to come. His wife's dragging him here right now. That's how you got that big wad of cash. That's it. You can read the future. You can see things coming. Hey, Lucas. With what you can do, and with what I know about business, I can make us both very rich. You know, it's like what you said. We're all the same. You, me, the bank, the money. This isn't about getting rich, Henry. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. well, th that's where you're wrong, sir. That's lesson number one. It is. OK? Now, let's get out of here. Nothing's changed. What are you talking about? If you decide to leave now, you make it to another city, but you have no identity. You end up living on the street, and within six months, you're an addict. Oh, please. You get hepatitis from sharing a needle. And I'm dead again. Two years later, simply healing your injury only delays the inevitable. OK. You tell me then. I give up, all right? What do I do? I believe. I'm all yours, 100%. Tell me what to do. I'd like you to answer one, one question honestly. Sure, fine, done. If, if you had it all to live over again, would you do anything differently? I wouldn't be as greedy as I was. No. I'd get in, boom, get out, leave no tracks. Because the only way to succeed like Evans is to be like Teflon. You know, nothing sticks to that bastard. You'd do the crime again that sent you to prison. Well, let me explain something to you about white collar crime, OK? I sell things, property, houses. Sometimes I sell them more than once. What can I tell you? People lose. It's business. Nobody, nobody really gets hurt all that much. Hey, look, it's the way society works. You didn't hurt anybody? I'm the one that went to jail. If anybody got hurt, it was me. What's going on? We're having a little party. We thought you were someone else. Oh. Come on, come on in. <laughs> I'm sorry if we scared you, sweetie. We're just trying to surprise our friend. So, what can I get you? The fact is, Henry, you did hurt people when you took their money. It affected many more people than you imagined. 
It's the domino effect. One life touches another. One person's loss becomes someone else's. Until, in some small way, you've affected hundreds of people. So what? It's every man for himself out there. That's the game. Those are the rules. That's what I've learned. That's what I know. That's what gets you ahead. You're going to blame me for playing by the rules? Where has it gotten you? By playing your game, you've, you've changed that little girl's life. Oh. I want to get back on the road in case it starts snowing on the way home. It's like on the counter. Uh-oh. Did you see that? Huh? You've changed her future. She's just a kid. Eight next month. Her father there entrusted $5,000 he'd saved for her college fund with a friend. And that friend invested in your phony real estate deal. Now she doesn't go to college in 11 years. Like she was going to, she dies before she gets the chance. You see, losing the $5,000 depressed her father so much he started hitting the bottle. And on the day after her 12th birthday, she's riding with her dad, who's drunk, and he falls asleep at the wheel. The car hits a concrete divider at 67 miles per hour, and she is killed. Instantly. I did all that? You made that future possible, yes? And... Nothing can change that? I didn't say that. Okay. I'm gonna call you on this one, Luke. I'm gonna... I'll bet you a hundred dollars you're wrong. No, make it a thousand. Thanks a lot. Come on, sweetie. We gotta hit the road. So I'm down a grand. But I bet you double or nothing, you can't guess what I'm thinking right now. You want another drink. Ha! Huh. Wrong. I want two drinks. You lose. Two more. OK. You got me. I'll admit that somewhere along the way, a few people might have got hurt. Not deliberately, but I might have hurt a few people. And I'll even take the rap for that little girl, if it'll make you feel better. But I know, deep down, I'm not a bad person. Do you think I'm here to judge you? Deep down, I know. I'm I know. Henry. I'm a good person. You are. I am? Yeah. So be it. Friends, that's real wealth. What have you got, Henry? What I got? I gotta take a leak. Yeah.
you're bleeding. It's all right. It doesn't hurt all that much. Oh, I know how much it hurts. I got to get you fixed up. There isn't that much time left. That's my wound, isn't it? How did you do that? Henry, in our world, we take on the pain or the joy of another instantly. Your hand doesn't end where mine begins. It never ends. We come here to help you understand that. Do you know? You were really thinking of killing those people. I did kill those people. It's too late for me. You're saving the wrong guy. No, it's not too late. We covered for you. Those three bodies lying in the morgue right now, they appeared at that party just an instant before you shot them. They're not really human. We manufactured them to help you. It's a complicated way to teach a lesson, but you're a complicated man, Henry. Why did you do this for me? To show you that if you hurt others, you hurt yourself. And you hurt us. Everything's connected. Let me go get you something. Never threatened anyone, never took anything? No, he was scared. I didn't assume he was a murderer, but I could tell he was in trouble. You could just tell by his attitude. Yeah, he looked scared half to death. Look, I'm gonna need your permission to search the premises for the murder weapon. He obviously did somewhere, maybe in the bathroom. Like you say, he went in. I don't have any problem with that. Oh, there's a man he was sitting with. You know Henry Marshall? Yeah, I'm, I mean, we just met. We shared a meal together. He looked like he needed a friend. And you had never seen him before tonight? No. Oh, you're a lucky man. Henry Marshall killed three people in cold blood today. You could have been number four. fella that came in with the little girl? Bill Soames. What about him? Would you give him this? Yes. Thanks.
My name is Lucas. A second chance. But redemption follows not a change of body, but a change of heart.